Hi everyone, this video is an accompaniment to a blog post that I wrote about pushing um, configuration files for a lab workbook to my CCIE lab uh, devices. So what I'm going to do here is I'll quickly go over, just in case you didn't read the post, I'll quickly go over the, the script and the files and project structure, and then I'll show you um, an example of, of running this script. So. What we have is, I just have my netbox up um, because we were gonna need it later to show the device roles of router and switch. But what I'll do is I'll go into the terminal and I have a, a project folder called push configs. And in this folder, <clears throat> we have a log file, which we can ignore for now, a config file, my run book, and then a folder called configs. So the first thing is, let's do is let's take a look at the config.yaml file. And this is where I verify that I want Nornir to run on 20 devices. Um, and here's also my netbox inventory. So my netbox is actually running on this device. Here's the API token. Uh, and I'm not verifying for SSL certificates. So the next file we'll have to look at is obviously our runbook. And actually, I'll just do vrunbook.py so we can take a better look. Um, eh, you know what? That's a lot of text. Let's, let me open the file. Okay. So this is a little bit of a prettier version of, of what's going on. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import all of our Nornir stuff. And then um, <clears throat> we're going to initialize it with the init Nornir command. And this is going to be using our config.yaml file that I just showed you. And I'm going to create two groups of inventory. So I filter my Nornir inventory here for switches. And then I filter my Nornir inventory for routers. And again, the role equal router, role equal switch, that comes from right here. So it's something that you'll have to create. The next thing I do is create some command line arguments. Um, this whole section, you know, not really in the grand scope of what we're trying to do, not that important, but just know that the, the script accepts a role and an initial config, um, which I'll show you in a moment what those are. The next thing we do here is we create our task so this section here is um, a function. It looks like a Python function, but it's actually a Nornir task. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable called config file that is in the configs folder. It takes the command line argument for initial. So like I said, that's the name of the initial config. And then does the host name that we're running the task against dot text. So let me go ahead and show you the file structure. So we have configs, and then we have a bunch of, you know, possible options that these are all, um, if you take an INE before, or if you use the INE workbook, you, you'll recognize these. But let's say, for example, basic BGP routing, we go in here, then we have a file name, r1.txt, r2, etc. So this is what our script is doing. It's going in the configs folder, basic BGP routing, and then taking a look at the host name, .txt. So that right there, configs, this would be basic BGP routing, and then you know r1.txt. Then we run our Nornir task. So the task we're using is networking.napalm configure. This is a built-in task with Nornir. Uh, we're not gonna replace the configuration, we're gonna do a merge. And that's because if we take a look at all of my devices, so I'm just going to do a show IP interface brief, external unassigned. All of my routers have this gigabit four link that I have in a management VRF. And if I replace instead of merge, I'm going to lose my management VRF. Um, so I don't want to actually replace the files. I just want to merge them. So we're going to do replace is false. And then the file name is going to be the configuration file that we just, you know, specified. And we're going to print some logging out to the screen. So this is our push underscore configs task. Um, 
pretty self-explanatory. And this task will run against all the hosts that we specify. So the next thing we do in our file is we just prompt the user for it to enter a username and password. This is because the username and password don't come from NetBox, um, the NetBox inventory. So what I do is accept them, and then we set the inventory defaults.username to our username, inventory defaults.password to password. Okay. And now, the honestly, the meat of it, which isn't that complicated, is if the role that we specify equals switch, then we're gonna run this push configs against our switches, and then we're gonna print the result. And then if our args is our command line argument is router, then we're gonna just run the result against the routers group and print there. And else otherwise, you know, I just put a thing that says undefined role, please enter router or switch. So what we could do is if we took a look at the runbook. Um, this is the cool thing about that args parse that comes with Python is, is you could see, you know, you could do role initial. Um, it also shows you that you could do just dash R dash I. Um, so what I'm going to do is let's go ahead and use um, this basic dot bgp dot routing as our config so let's say we we have opened up i and e and it says hey for this lab you need to load the basic dot bgp dot routing configurations on your file okay so instead of going into each file opening it copy pasting into my configs what i'll do is run my script so and actually let me just get some separation on three, it's runbook.py. And now what we're gonna do is let's specify R for role. I'm gonna run it against the routers. So the role is router. And then I for um, the initial config, again, is going to be basic.bgp.routing. So let's go ahead and do basic.bgp.routing. And now let's run the script. So it prompts for the username and password. No state secret there. My username and password is just CCIE. And now the Nornier runbook will run. Um, if it takes more, it shouldn't take that long. I was going to say I could pause the video, but now I can see that the cursor stopped, so it's running against my switches. I mean, my routers. And now it's completed. So let's take a look at the output we got. And we can see we got quite, quite a bit of output. Um... I, I chose to print for every, you know, possible <laughs> for every router that we're doing. So we could see we're using the push configs task that I created. And now for R1, it was changed. And it was changed using push configs. Uh, I'm sorry, the napalm configure. Changed is true. And here's all the configuration that was changed for R1. So we have all kinds of interfaces. We have a DMVPN, um, you know, some DMVPN options, and it looks like it created a DMVPN tunnel. It also put EIGRP and BGP on there, which we didn't have before. And then as we go through, we could see, uh, well, here's R10, here's R2, R3, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So in order to see if that worked, let's go ahead and do a show IP uh, interface brief will exclude unassigned and look so here's what we ran before where we just had gig ethernet 4 and now we have 1.45 1.11 with all IP addresses here and then if we did um, a show run section router you know now we have EIGRP and BGP configuration so now I could just get right into my lab so this is a pretty useful uh, script. I'll post it on GitHub um, if you need it. Obviously, you know, if your folder structure doesn't look like this, just just change it. You know, um, it's possible if you were taking a look at the uh, initial configs with INE, you might have advanced foundation devs, advanced technology labs, full scale, etc. You know, that's fine. Just just edit your script. Um, 
and you maybe maybe you could even you know edit your args so that you could say what the parent folder is and then what the initial one you know the initial configs are but pretty simple script it's going to save me a lot of time in my labbing um, i hope you guys found it useful thanks for watching